get right into it. So we left off with Nate trying to figure out how to get a mask out of a mine where there are a bunch of earth pixies or whatever that worship him. And then there's also a cave where we're trying to get a shield away from a two-headed ogre. I think technically they don't call it a net, and I think they call it a two-headed ogre or something, but yeah. Something like that. Hmm. No idea what I should ask. Oh, good. So we won't worry about that then. A grave. There are a lot of them here. I don't know what's supposed to be so special about this one, though. From the outside, there's nothing interesting to see. And I'm not going to open just any old grave on suspicion. Okay. That can or whatever in front is nothing. Oh, that's part of... I thought it was a teddy bear. See, there's a head, an arm, a couple legs. I thought this was a teddy bear first, not the hand of this. <laughs> Whoops. It's leaving. All right, I'm not sure if there's anything down here that has now become interactable that was not previously... He's looking like he wants to get out of here. You itching to go there, Nate? Hey, faux fox. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I was processing a video and it kept taking longer and longer and longer to get finished. It looked like it was finished in time, but then it ended up looking like it wasn't going to finish until now, maybe 20 minutes ago, I, th I would guess. Something like that. So I said, oh, I'll just go like an hour late. So I said that on Twitter, right? And then after my tweet, at some point, I don't even know when, at some point, I fell asleep in my chair. And <laughs> so I was like scrambling to get things done to start the stream as well. So we have, just as a reminder, left off where we're trying to get a shield from a couple of ogres. They're using it currently as like a plate. It has a bunch of food on it and stuff, so using it like a plate. And then there's a cave or a mine with a bunch of like earth pixies or whatever they are. And there's a mask in there that is obstinate and doesn't want to leave. And when he threatened to take the mask away, because the mask is living in the lap of luxury, right? It's the mouthpiece of the god or the, the supposed god that the pixies worship. Anyway... So the mask has it good, so it doesn't want to leave. It doesn't want to leave. So when Nate threatened to take it out of there, it was like, oh, hey, the god says that this guy's an enemy. You need to go get him and make sure he doesn't stay in the mine. So they booted him out. So we have to figure out how to get in there again, sneaking or whatever, and steal it. And then the get the shield from the ogres as well. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, probably, probably stayed up a little bit too late. And then I was up not super early, but kind of early this morning um, to go to church. So then when I got back from church, I, uh, yeah, they didn't sleep. So maybe that was it. I don't know. Not sure. Let's see. So it doesn't look like there's anything in here that's going to help. Let's see if Gulliver and or uh, I don't remember her name. Hey, Gulliver. Esther could help us. Ah, the living one. The living one. Oh, right. I've got to get going. Breathe. Feel my heartbeat. That sort of thing. Ah, don't let me stop you. Okay, so I forgot. Also, 
these guys are waiting for lightning to strike to bring the life inside to, to the body, bring the life, bring the body inside to life. So because of that, there I can't do anything until I've got lightning has come and it's electrified the body and stuff. And the Minotaur in there wants to, or, or said, potentially we could do a lightning dance, but it's really complicated. He's not really fit to do it. And I don't remember what the other problem was, but Nate suggested he could do it, and I don't remember exactly the result now. <laughs> hey, Thunder, oh. <laughs> about this lightning dance. Thunderhoof? Hello, bully. Hmm, the guy seems to be out of it. Could be something to do with my mushrooms. Take unidentified mushrooms, mixed up with a bunch of suspicious berries and paint, set it on fire, and inhale the smoke. Not too much can go wrong with that. <laughs> we just... He's uh, just having a little powwow with his ancestors. He'll come around soon. We just totally killed or, like, permanently damaged the Minotaur's brain. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, we finally, finally, it took forever, right? But I finally figured out the friggin' pattern and stuff. Like, I kept thinking those were separate halls, so that was part of what was throwing me. I thought, you're in a hall in one place, and then you teleport to another area. I never thought you could just, that door she was coming through in that first area was the same one we were sneaking through in the second area. But once I put together the shape and the symbols on the walls and the mirrors and the position and where they were sending you. And I'd put like several pieces together before I figured out. And I was like, Oh wait, duh. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that, that, that was a thing. Okay. So if that's the case, is there anything else we're going to do in here? I don't know if we're going to take anything or use anything right now. I feel like there might be not almost anything we can do. Might be a little bit, but if there is, it's not going to be much. Would be my guess. Can't fire. The coals are just glowing, but the heat is tremendous. Ah, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything else for him. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe we will go... Finally. Took me forever, but yeah, I did finally get it. Um, That's what, you know, it's technically speaking one of the dangers, quote-unquote, of playing stuff blind. You really have no idea why something is the way it is, and you have to figure things out. And there are times when you don't figure things out. Like, if you remember the game observer there is still because i haven't gone back to try there's still that thing whatever it was that was down in the basement levels of the apartment complex whatever where he was and it was making like it was kind of like almost like animalistic or whatever and it had killed people and stuff we still don't know we know what the weird, you know, kind of mutated thing was, that was him, right? But we still don't know what the thing down there was and how to, like, open the door where it was and potentially free it or whatever. We still don't know how to do that. That was a possible thing, and that I never figured that out. Well, we, I mean, collectively, I don't know if you happen to look it up in the meantime or anything. Somebody else could have, but I never looked it up, and so I still don't know. And as of the stream, unless somebody's done more looking, more looking, they still don't, they're still not a, okay. So if there's nothing here with these, then maybe I can, I don't have any thing like fire or anything I could use to make smoke and maybe smoke them out. I have boards I could use potentially to burn, but... Mm. K, 
Okay, so that's a thing. Nice. Now I've got a pom pom on a string. Whatever that's for. Oh, I see. Just this is the pom pom on a string. Pom pom on a string. Okay, so if I do this, we can combine with anything else. Does not look like it. Okay. Does this combine with. No. And this. No. Okay, I think we're, we're done combining stuff in the inventory. Well, thanks. Yeah, it's. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely a thing a lot of people enjoy seeing somebody else figure stuff out. That's true. It's definitely, I mean, that's, there's a reason, like, a lot of people don't get this. There's a reason why blind playthroughs are actually a thing on YouTube or on Twitch or whatever. They don't understand that there could be somebody who actually enjoys watching that. But the thing is, everybody has different personalities, and for some people that's enjoyable, right? I tend to... enjoy that myself because I mentally try to go through and figure it out as somebody else is trying to figure it out um, or if I did something myself blind and I struggled with it I might enjoy or I do enjoy it depends on the game of course but generally I will enjoy watching somebody else struggle too because then it's kind of like I remember my struggles as they're going through theirs and I can kind of, it's kind of like, a, what would it be like? Like watching a play or watching a movie or something, right? And there's a character that is going to do something. Now it's called dramatic irony, right? Where, where the audience knows what's going on. The character has no idea. And the audience is like, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Or something like that. But the character doesn't know what's going on. How would the character possibly know? So the character keeps going in a direction that's going to cause a problem, <coughs> get him killed, result in humor, whatever it might be, right? So it's a similar kind of a thing, I think, when you're watching a playthrough. If, for example, I was watching a Dark Souls well, any of the Souls games, if I was watching a playthrough of one of those and there's a really hard boss to defeat or something and the logical strategy would be do such and such and you tried that yourself and it would like ended in tears. Now you see this person playing blind or, or maybe not blind, but basically blind and they, they're trying the same thing you were trying. You're like, no, 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 kind of a thing. There's that, too. I just noticed the number one here. I don't know if that does it. That is for anything. You can't interact with it. But anyway, so that kind of thing. So the, it is a thing. Despite what a lot of people think, a lot of people think it's ridiculous, but it is actually a thing to watch somebody struggle through something. And so I, I definitely, I mean, that's, I play these games not knowing ahead of time. So I definitely appreciate you guys enjoying that kind of thing because it's not you know everybody's cup of tea so anyway well not sure what i'm gonna do with can i add these to the fire no mm. so we have the hose but if we try to approach that the giant we'll call it the atten it's an atten so we'll just call it a netting. I don't care what they call it in the game. It's a netting. So when I try to examine the hose, the Atten's like, hey, what are you doing? It's our stuff. If I try to do the same thing with the shield, hey, it's our stuff. With the bet with the sack over here, it's our stuff. Cupboard, it's our stuff. Basically, like any of this stuff I might look at more closely is theirs. And so they get a little touchy when you get too close to it. They don't get angry or anything, but they do kind of say, Yeah, what are you doing? So, um, apologies once again, young sir. I cannot countenance your rummaging around in our private things. Please take your leave of our cave. Oh, 
I thought I was in another cave. Yeah, and then that's that's what he says, so. Hello, Blout. You, little Cuban. That's right. You and your half-brother, don't you guys get along too well? Love is stupid. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Always reading. Never fun. Never break things. He's more the intellectual type. Sloth, not real man. Sloth never had girlfriend. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very hungry, Blout. That's a very, very big plate you've got there. Blout, big, hungry. Why don't you ask Zloth nicely once more if you can eat what's on his plate? Zloth not let me, and Zloth make Jay like me. You mean he can defend himself? Hmm. As long as he's reading that book, you can't use your hands? Uh -huh. Well, you are one smart guy, Blout. Blout? Uh, can't you get Zloth to stop reading? Zloth always reading. Till book finished. And there's nothing that stops him reading? Sloth like drink cocktails. Ogre cocktails. Okay. And then what? He drunk very quick. You mean he can't hold his liquor? And he gets too drunk to keep reading? Hmm, interesting. Do you get drunk fast too, Blout? Like Sloth does? No! Blout drink much more than Zlop. Blout real main ogre. <laughs> but you share the same body. Yeah? So? Ah, oh, nothing. It doesn't realize that the blood alcohol percentage applies to the entirety of the entity, not just Zlof. I could make you an ogre cocktail. How would you like that? Blow like beer. Yeah, I know, but the cocktail's mainly for Zloff. Why? So he gets drunk. And then? Then you can chow down on that snack there. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I love that he thinks he's so smart and his brother's so stupid, and it's like, uh, really, dude? Right. What makes a good ogre cocktail? Alcohol. <laughs> Thanks. Alcohol, okay. And what else? An umbrella. An ogre cocktail is made of nothing but alcohol? And umbrella. And what kind of alcohol? Wine? Vodka? Whatever. Must blow your head off. So, high octane alcohol in a glass with an umbrella. Classy. Little human can look in cave. Do you have the ingredients? Uh -huh. I have to leave. My stomach's grumbling. Hungry! So he has the ingredients for... The cocktail. He said he could look in caves, so can we try the cupboard? Young sir, those are our private belongings. All of the appliances are registered. Please leave our cave. Blout gave me permission. Little humor make cocktail for Zloth. Really? What a delightful surprise. I thank you most cordially. No problem, Fatso. He meant you. He meant you. <laughs> Uh, that seems to be some kind of storage cupboard. Which would have ingredients or no? A small, colorful cocktail umbrella. Who'd have thought that there'd be a market for these here in the Wildlands? 
Okay, so that's it for that. And then high octane alcohol. He said that Blatt said we had all the stuff in there for high octane alcohol. Like what? Okay. I don't see. Oh, up here's a glass. I would have expected a larger cocktail glass. This one's more human sized. Is that going to be enough to get Zloth drunk? Sure. If the octane's high enough, it would. Just all depends. It's like, for example, it's, there's reasons shot glass is only like that big, right? So if you had a, like a shot glass, like a pint size, you're going to like black out till next Tuesday. Uh, okay. Tied up linen sack. That. The contents probably need to be protected from birds and rats. High octane alcohol. The sack is full to the brim with apples. Hmm, they're all damp and rotten. They smell like they're fermenting. Right. Put those in the pot in the ogre's cave, maybe. Oh, clay flagon. Hey. Hmm. Some stone flagons. Whoa, quadruple X. That's really strong. There was some high percentage stuff in there, but the flagons are all empty. I need to find alcohol somewhere else. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Use the hose, maybe. But what would the hose be for? I guess if we were boiling stuff in the cauldron, we would need it. would be like siphoning gas or something, right? You'd need suction. They would have to pull the alcohol out of the cauldron. I don't know if that's going to work. I feel like we don't need the hose yet, maybe. I mean, maybe we do, but I don't think so. And there are more triple X or whatever jugs over here for high octane alcohol. Um, all right, so if the stuff's really high proof, is Rotten Apples going to do it, though? I mean, I guess. Probably could. Okay, let's, let's see what we get when we go back to the Minotaurs. Yeah.